Hello and welcome back to Dot Hack Quarantine. We're gonna advance ourselves in the story. I believe this is the last part of Act 2, anyways, before it goes into Act 3, or it's this, and then we do the last that advances into Act 3. I haven't gone through the walk uh, walkthrough guide yet, just to see what was going on. I started utilizing the walkthrough guide more in this game than the other games. And uh, that's only because I needed to know where virus cores were at. Went through the walkthrough guide and realized that it would have been much better to actually use this than uh, just going in blind. So, without further ado, Let's get in the game. We need to have Black Rose with us. And since I had Ball Mug already, and he's more of a story-driven character, he's gonna go with us. To reincarnated Purgatorial Altar. Assuming I can actually go to this. I, I may need data cores. Of course it's protected. Do I have the virus cores for it? Oh my god, I actually do. One W, two Zs, a Y, and an X. It's surprising enough, all the cores that we got from the other is it five locations? Five locations. All to go see the creator of the world. Such a dramatic way to travel. Alright, it's level 90 area, so it might be some decent level gain here. Oh, yeah, there's one right there. Let's go see. Oh boy, it's virus monster. Ow. Okay, I'm just gonna let you guys do that. Stay back here. Launch some spells. Oh, it's magic dollar and damn it. I'll just be a really good teammate. You got this. Get my licks in where I can. Lamar, Lamar, 
Lemurn Room. Not as good as, um, what's it called? Demon Plate. Which is Demon Mail. Which is what we're currently rocking. Level 98. Suck it. Uh, let's, um, just heal up. Cast strengthen if you have any. I don't think they do. Ricky. So do I strengthen myself? No. All my deaths up from this time around. Ricky. Give everybody a little Rick even. I'm gonna give myself Emperor Soul. Finish healing. And I think I'm just gonna go straight to the dungeon. I'm gonna wind up dying of data sickness if all these uh, data bugs out here. So let's get into our grunty. There are no grunties you can call on the server. That's true. That's right. I forgot that I'm I'm in the uh, Delta server. There's no grunties here. Well, then I guess we'll just run. You don't need to see all this though. So I'll uh, I'll see you in the dungeon. Here we are in the dungeon. And fair is over. So if it does come to a point where this is going to be nothing but data bugs. I'm going to avoid fighting. It's gonna be nothing but data bugs. Get your scales. Get your spine. That's my It's gonna breathe on me. Breathe on me. Since this is a level 90 area, maybe we'll get decent gear. Matter of fact, what's the Roger Mill looking like? It's for a heavy. It's a level 94, which actually is not bad at all. All Monk could probably use it. What are you at? Dark Beast, level 84. Dark Rose could use it. Dark Rose, Black Rose could use it. Uh, 89, 84, so yeah, Black Rose gets the, uh, Roger Mill. Yeah? Roger, 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 Hey, you read my mind! This is just what I wanted! Boy, sure happy I read your mind. Hmm. Joking over here. Let's have all that. I, f I forget that tarot cards is actually a uh, possibility in the, the scrolls. Those are also in the chest as well. I'm thinking, oh, we're just going to get a bunch of equipment. Nope. It's not the case. And I'm stocked up on antidotes and restorations and all the healing. Oh, well, there's nothing in here. It's just an empty room. Not even a grunty food. I was hoping it was going to be a virus core room. Everybody, there's magic. Is it? Oh, no, not doing his magic. He's just using this. Because it is. Magic. Back spiral! Oh, it's. Start attacking it. Data drink. 
physically intolerant. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, I'm just one. What is it again? Earth time. I don't have wood spells. I have wood attacks. I don't have wood spells. Magical accuracy. stuff that's that's gonna be nice nice to have uh even though he's not damaged a whole whole lot still gonna heal bomb him. well let's move forward playing this.
that just fills random spurts of blocks. It's a dragon. My attack since it was my game. Uh, Chaos Sword. What is. What's this? That's a Blade Master. She's level 99. Oh my god, that's crazy. Max level, rare for Blade Masters. Bound Spiral, Vonk Spiral. To get you uh, an Earth, Fire, and Darkness attack. Nid Spiral along with Critical Hit. This is absolutely great. Hey. How are you faring? Almond. Have this chaos sword. An expensive item like this? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I will accept this as a symbol of our friendship. Please don't. Boom. It looks exactly the same as the last item he had equipped. It's just got a different color scheme. That's great. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm looking rather green. Got a far rep. Black oh, rose. I'm not gonna go out of my way to the area to the right. Because there's a monster in there, and if I can avoid combat and save myself from data drain sickness, I'm gonna do it. Okay, good. Oh, these are not data drain monsters, like there's four of them. Alright, everybody. I guess we'll just stand around and not do anything. Skills, Black Rose, what are you doing? Why are you asleep? Stop it. Survey waves, as many as I can. I'll just go out there and be the best you you can be. Just to check on my data drain. Back to blue. So not every encounter is going to be a, a data bug monster. That's good. That's a good thing. Oh, here we go. So shit, there's gonna be five floors. It's a data bug monster.
to the greeds of all. Hey, wet it. I feel like that was Bergermon's attack in Digimon. Meteor Swarm! Maybe it was something else. Meteor Wing, that's what it was. God, how great was Digimon? From the anime to the video game. I think the anime kind of dropped off at a bit. I think I stopped taking interest in it when they were doing uh, the Guardians, where it's like the humans were transforming into the Digimon. They didn't really have partner Digimon, they had spirits, and they could use those spirits to transform into their own Digimon. I was like, all right, you lost me. <laughs> I still watched it though. Second season? No, third season with uh, Guillaumon. Guillaumon and Terry. Those were like some of my favorite Digimon. They all three of them were great. Guillaumon, Terryamon, Renamon. And then the games, too. The games were wonderful. I liked the uh, first one because it was just essentially. Get another chaos. Larger version of a uh, little pocket monster guy that I had. And even though, for the most part, uh, all of my guys will end up becoming Sukibon or Nunamon, a buddy of mine found out that if you go into the toy area, you can take your Nunamon and uh, make them into Monsimon. So that was the ultimate that would always be rocking was a Monsimon. Let's see. I want to play, I have Digimon World on. Am I in here? Uh, I have Digimon World on PlayStation. I want to go back and play the game again and see if my interactions will be different than when I was a kid. If I can actually train a Digimon to not become a Nunamon. I will say though that they did release a PlayStation 4 game that kind of followed uh, Digimon World 1. Because Digimon Worlds 1 through 4 all went in different directions. It was all Digimon games. But it was like one was like the oversized version of the handheld pockets uh, monster tamer thing. Chewing on it. Definitely. Uh, number two was team related and almost more like RPG. Too, you you also like befriended the ones that you were fighting. You had to do certain things depending on the Digimon to try and friend them to join your team. And it was almost like uh, dungeon crawly too. 
and then three was like you were in an MMO. You get three Digimon, but the Digimon didn't have their own like unique Digivolving paths. It was all based on like they could be whichever ones they wanted to be. You could pick and choose where you wanted to go. And I didn't like that. I didn't like that they weren't unique. a uh, dungeon crawl boss monster type game where you played as one of four Digimon and you had guns and swords and axes and a whole equipment system which they had an equipment system in Digimon World 3 it was like a JRPG turn based you're in an MMO you can give your Digimon swords and armor and shields and stuff like that. It doesn't show them using them or that they're equipped. They still fought like Digimon where they were just using their attacks. Not a sword attack. But yeah, that... Three and four were like... I think I, I hated three more than I did four, though. Just for the fact they didn't have a unique Digivolving path. And then four was fun because I got to play with, like, uh, friends. It was as a multiplayer type game. But you really want a fun Digimon experience? Get yourself into Digimon World on the DS. They brought those back. You can have a ton of Digimon. You gotta farm it because it's the dual screen. You have uh, the top screen being the one that you play on. And then the bottom screen, uh, you have like your farm. So you can see what's going on on your farm. And just like watching the Digimon every once in a while, a little event comes up where they see a piece of gear or equipment that they can train with and they'll start training on it and then all of a sudden it's like oh their attack increased or they'll have interactions with each other uh to where it's like friendship increases or they'll they'll start thinking about you and like having little conversations it's crazy it's it's really cool 
The Cyber Sleuth games are pretty fun too. Oh my god, everyone uses skills. I'm not getting close to that thing. That is a heavy hitter. I'm instead just gonna do this to it. I was gonna lose Black Rose right there at the end. No grunty food over there. Okay. Tempest. Fire Tempest. And that's why we're not going to go check those treasure chests. Even though I'm at blue. Still want to be uh, in a decent area. Because it may be the last floor. But I don't know how many encounters I'm going to have to face on the last floor. And if it goes to six... We actually fought a lot of maidens on the way out, so that's good. It, it might be good. Wait, this might be a misdirection.
just gonna leave my health where it's at. down. Oh, I see it up there. It's a sixth floor. Alright. Well, we know which way to go now. Defense sword. It's a level seven heavy blade item. Why? Why is this here? Gaia's axe, the evil Lamar, the Raja. Oh my goblin gloves! I forgot to put that away. Reeves of awe. And then we have a level eighteen. Actually, no, we're in the first server. I guess I should be expecting some lower level items. The lovers. What do we get? Uh, another one of these. Everybody's just fools. Oh god, it's gotten all of us.
HP and SP recovered, all right. In the Raha Guard drop pop. Mail. Is the last floor. It's gonna go into some weird uh, room like we do with Harold. Harold's always got the weird rooms. Not seeing any purple glow, so maybe not. Maybe it's just another floor. God damn it, it's just another floor. Ferris. Not so bad. Laboon. And we still don't know what it looks like further up. There's another down. Oh my god. It's one of these. Hit him. I'm gonna need you all to get up there so it doesn't do this to us the whole time. Then again, that does a lot less damage than like his actual physical attacks. Get up there, oh my god. Bastard. Get up there and help Black Rose. It's a matter with Tim.
Is it a seventh floor? It's a seventh floor. Uh, there's a. Oh god, there's another down too. Ooh. How many floors is it in this place? It's this guy again. Is he a water type? a bit because I went up there and punched it.
was that item that we just got? Eternity. Oh, nice, a level 99 long arm weapon. Well, Halbred. Fire, water, and thunder attack. It has critical hit. That is gonna be great for Nuke or Gardenia, depending on who joins the party first.
I guess we'll go down here to this little treasure room and see what they got. Ten floor dungeon. They have a hundred floor dungeon in uh, GU. That madness. I think they give you an option though to like uh, rest between floors or at a certain set amount of floors you can rest and then go back to it. to lower my levels when I do that. So it did lower it. We're not quite at critical. Probably what I was supposed to do the entire time. And here we go. On to the ninth floor. This video is long, and that's mainly because it's a large dungeon. It's over two hours is how long this video is that I'm editing down, which means that it's going to be two parts. So, here's part one. Enjoy part two coming up in the next video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next game.
Goodbye.